Good day to all the students and teachers who are watching and listening today. First of all, I am thankful to Davao Christian High School for inviting me to be your speaker at this time. Before I start, let me introduce myself to you. I am Rana K. Tong, but you can call me Ati Kate. I am currently serving as a music minister at Davao Chinese Baptist Church. So as we begin, let me ask, who among you are familiar with this line, peace be with you? Or who is familiar with this sign? We usually see this, especially during photo ops, right? But do you understand the meaning of this sign? Our topic for today is entitled, Peace Be With You, Courtesy and Peaceful Living. You know, courtesy and peaceful living are relatives. They go together because it is impossible to live in peace without being courteous. The Bible says in Romans 12, 8, Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Does it say live in peace with some people or live in peace with your family only, with your mom and dad only, or your friends only? No, it says with everyone. So maybe you'll ask, why? Why do I even have to live in peace with everyone? Why is there a need for me to live in peace with the people around me so let me give you reasons why okay first whether we like it or not we are not meant to live alone we live in a world that's full of people and we have to mingle with them third living peaceably with others can make the world a better place to live in and this is perhaps the hard part we are reminded to treat everyone with courtesy, even those who are rude to us. It is not because they are nice, but because we are. Again, treat everyone with courtesy, even those who are rude to you. It is not because they are nice, it is because you are. So are you nice? Do you want to be nice? If we don't like the people who are not nice, then let us be one. Okay? But you may say, teacher, it's difficult to be nice. The Bible says, if we are willing to obey God, then He will give us the strength to do all things for Him because God Himself will strengthen us. Now, maybe... We are already convinced, or you are already convinced, that we need to be courteous. So the next question is, how? How do we show courtesy, or how do we become courteous? So for us to know that, let us watch this short clip.
according to the video that you have just watched, how is courtesy done as a human being? The definition of courtesy is a respectful, kind, polite, and considerate action. So, in the movie that we have just watched, we see that that man was kind and courteous and helpful to the people around him, to the beggars, to the pantlers, even to the dog. So, are we ready to do that? You see, these things are something that money can't buy. Peace, happiness, and it only takes for us to be courteous and helpful and kind to the people around us. The Apostle Paul reminded the church in Philippi, which also serves as a reminder to us, as he said, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others is better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interest, but take an interest in others too. Again, I'll read it. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble. Think of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interest, but take an interest in others too. Also, one of Jesus' disciples named Peter desired for the children of God to think as one by showing love, tenderheartedness, compassion, and courtesy. So how can we be courteous, especially here in school? Okay, you may ask, how can we be courteous at the gate? How do we apply that here in school? So again, let's watch another video clip. How's your lunch, Chris? Ah, it smells great. Mrs. Harris, the lunch lady, was really nice. She even noticed my new shirt. Oh, she didn't say anything to me. In fact, Miss Harris seemed a little grumpy when I asked for food. Hmm, huh. maybe you didn't use polite words when you asked for it. Really? How did you ask for your food? Well, when I got to the front of the lunch line, Mrs. Harris was facing the other way, so I said, Excuse me, Mrs. Harris. And she turned around and asked me what I wanted to eat for lunch. So I asked, may I have some chicken, carrots, and yogurt, please? She told me, yes, you may, and then put lots of food on my tray. I said, thank you very much. And then she said, you're welcome. That's a nice shirt, young man. She was very nice. Wow, you're right. She was nice to you. How did you ask for your food, Peter? I said, give me some fish, green beans, and yogurt. And then she gave me my food. But she didn't say anything to me. Hmm. Peter, she was probably grumpy because you didn't use polite words. Oh, but which words are polite words? Well, words like... Please, thank you, and excuse me. How do I use them? Can I use them anytime? Sure. When you ask for something like food, you should say, May I please have some food? And always say thank you when someone does something nice for you. Oh, and what about excuse me? When you need to get someone's attention, but that person is busy, you should say, excuse me, to let them know that you would like to talk to them. Just like you said to Miss Harris. Wow, Chris, you know so much about being polite. Thanks for helping me. Hey, I just used a polite word. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, way to go, Peter. 
All right. Can we please eat our lunch now? I'm hungry. Yes, we may. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so how about that? Are you doing that here in school or anywhere where you dine or you talk to your parents or you talk to other people? So according to the video we just watched, what are the examples of courteous or courtesy words? Okay, first is, you're welcome, I am sorry, Thank you. That's very important, especially when someone gives you what you want or someone gives you even a gift or something that you don't expect a person to give you. We also use the word please, especially when we want something. And excuse me, especially when we want the attention of a person who is doing something else. Okay, so again, the words that are courteous are the following. You are welcome. I am sorry. Thank you. Please and excuse me. So do you know the golden rule? What is a golden rule, Atiket? Golden rule means the basic and most important principle that we should always follow for us to be successful in life okay it doesn't need money only for us to be successful it does not need for us to have a lot of things for us to be successful but it only takes for this golden rule for us to be successful and what does it say okay it says the golden rule says treat others the way you want them to treat you or do to others what you would have them do to you. If, if you want another person to be nice to you, then be nice to them as well. But we are reminded earlier that when a person is rude to you, it doesn't mean that you have to be rude to them too. But you have to still be nice because, not because they are nice, but because we are. Okay, for us to easily remember this golden rule, we'll sing this song. Okay, okay, I'll teach you this song. Do to others, do to others, what you would have them do to you. Do to others, do to others, what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophet so in everything you do do to others do to others what you would have them do to you so let's sing it one more time and I'll teach you the action okay when we say do, we do this sign. Okay, and then others to you. Okay, so do to others, do to others what you would have them do to you. Do to others, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophet, so in everything you do, do to others, do to others, what you would have them do to you. So, are you ready to apply we have, what we have just learned today? Let us pray to God that He will help us to be courteous to everyone around us so that we can live in peace with each other and with everyone and help make this world a better place to live in. So that's it. Good day.